The next thing is MIUI Battery Saver. Uh, there is no restrictions, battery saver, restrict background apps, restrict background activity. Now, if you are having issues on the default setting being MIUI Battery Saver, you're going to want to go ahead and go to No Restrictions. Something that's continued to come up in my Telegram community as well as uh, in comments has been notifications on the POCO F2 Pro and how you can consistently get notifications on the POCO F2 Pro in MIUI 12 and in MIUI 11. The steps to doing this on the POCO F2 Pro on MIUI 12 are not that different than the steps you would take from like the Redmi K20 Pro on MIUI 11 or even MIUI 12 Global. But not everyone that uses MIUI or MIUI 12 uh, knows how to do this. And one of the most common questions I got about the POCO F2 Pro was like, Hey, do you get notifications? Another commonly asked question that I have for you guys is to please subscribe to the channel. 95.4% of you are not subscribed to the channel and the best way to support the channel is click subscribe with notifications. Now I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna jump down to the phone view. I'm gonna show you guys how to enable the notifications for it. And then we're gonna talk a little bit at the end of the video about why the notification situation is like the way it is on MIUI. Guys, I just want to show you how to enable this so you get all of your notifications and everything. For example, we are going to take Twitter. Long press on the Twitter icon. Go to App Info. Now, depending upon the application that you have chosen, you might want to enable Auto Start. This will allow you to get uh, all of the incoming notifications and it will allow the device to be woken up. Now, notifications, lock screen notifications, show app icon badges. If you like this, use it. If you don't, don't. Obviously you can go ahead and customize everything that you would get the notifications for in app like this, like so. The next thing is MIUI battery saver. Uh, there is no restrictions, battery saver, restrict background apps, restrict background activity. Now, if you are having issues on the default setting being MIUI Battery Saver, you're going to want to go ahead and go to No Restrictions. Now the next thing that you might want to go ahead and change on the device, and this is going to be the same for MIUI 12 and MIUI 11, go into your notifications, lock screen notifications, if it's an application that you want to get lock screen notifications about, you might need to enable it. Not all lock screen notifications are enabled for all apps. <clears throat> Floating window notifications. These are the little windows that pop up from the top of your screen. Um, you wanna go ahead and have those enabled. As you guys can see, I've enabled them uh, already. Then we go to notification badge, and this will just give you the little notification thing that tells you how many notifications you have on the device. Now, notification shade. This is going to affect the way that the notification shade operates and kind of works overall. As you can see, we have MIUI, and then we have the stock Android style and then expanded notifications, and that will essentially expand all the notifications so they kind of scroll down. Another place that you guys can customize this is another place that you can switch notifications for this is for uh, the status bar. So show connection speed, use app icons for notifications. This is one that was a bigger issue on previous issues of MIUI, but we would not get the app icons at the top of the screen. Use app icons for notification. As you guys can see, it just uh, grays them all out if you don't do that. Now you can switch the control center side for either this side or the other side. I don't really do that. And essentially, uh, that is how you would fix your notifications on MIUI 12. 
Okay, now I hope that tutorial was helpful for you guys in regards to enabling notifications. The reason why Xiaomi does this in general is for battery management and for just like overall battery life. Although like having such restrictive battery constraints on the device does tend to like limit or get in the way of notifications. Doing this, I haven't noticed that significant of a hit in battery life. Uh, what I have done to combat this is I do have nap time and aggressive doze installed on my device. You need a root to do that. And if you guys want me to make a video about doing that on the Poco F2 Pro, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys want to connect with me, go ahead, hit me up on Twitter, ask me questions on my website. And until next time, guys, this has been Mitchell coming to you from Hanoi. Stay safe.